the flat land like a man on the run Riding down Highway 61 Sides of the roads all line the fields Nothing but sunset in the windshield As I ride into town, this is where I go to slow down. Miles and miles of soybeans and corn, I'm in the place where the blues was born. All right, guys, Brad Chapel back here Bernard with Williams. Got Bernard Williams with me. Right. And Michael by the, Sylvester. By the body, Michael Sylvester here. And, and uh, Michael really hadn't fished a bunch of tournaments. He's not a tournament fishing guy to say. I call him um, my battery madman, mad scientist, <laughs> uh, all kind of cool names because he's, he's one of these guys that's got into this uh, lithium and, and studied it. And, and, you know, me and Michael's. We're good buddies besides the, the crappie fishing deal, but he's helped me switch, you know, a lot of things over to lithium, and it has made such a difference about, you know, the amount of days I can go out and go fishing. And weight-wise. <laughs> and weight-wise. It's dropped weight out of my boat. It's made my boat a little bit faster. But really, my biggest thing is I can fish all day long and not worry about my batteries. Yep. And you know, a lot of questions are being asked. If, if I look on social media, everybody's saying, well, what kind of lithium batteries do I need? Uh, do I need one for my live scope? And we've got some different things on the table, and we're just going to have a segment on lithium batteries here. And I thought about that, and I was like, who else to ask but other than the, the battery madman here, exactly. Michael Sylvester. The mad scientist. The mad scientist. Yeah. And, and I know you've got a Facebook page, Fishing Wizard, is that right? Yes, yes. Uh, we're going to get one for the batteries soon, very soon. Mm -hmm. But you can look up that and get Michael's number or, mm -hmm. you know, just contact, contact us at the Crappie Connection and we can get you in touch with Michael pretty easy. But, uh, Michael, kind of tell us what we got on the table. He's brought a little show and tell. Right? Well, of course, most people are familiar with um, the regular lithium batteries, 100 amp hours. We've got Dakota Lithium, which a lot of people have recognize those. This is one of our little brands that we've... Uh, tested mm -hmm. they seem to be fine and then i've got um 60 amp hour we call them power boxes mm -hmm. um a lot of people are using those for to power their live scope units yeah um any electronics yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you can use these to jump start your motor wow they've got plenty of uh bolts okay i, I know the big thing with live scope and running your units is getting that quality feed up to the live scope to get the better images that's why everybody's want to do it right. yep and get it off of the other stuff where you don't get interference that's right the interference factor and the longevity i mean uh okay. what are you looking at with this this box kind of go through us and you know sell us this box as far as the the, the guts of it and the, the main things about it one of the best things about it is the 60 amp hour cells mm. in it um it's got a meter on it and you can charge a cell phone waterproof um, and it's just, it's easy to throw underneath something and stash out of the way, charge it real quick, mm -hmm. uh, lithium's charged real quick, no mess. Mm -hmm. um, people that know about lithium and have ever used one, you don't have to sell it. Yeah. They, Could I hook my Minn Kota charger to this? Yes. To recharge? Oh, if you have an AGM setting. Right. On your, okay. On it, you right. can. Uh, but... You know, I sell these for like 380 bucks, which is way cheaper than mm -hmm. than any other sale you can buy. And that comes with its own charger, so you don't have to worry about oh, that. Oh, wow. The thing I like about it is it's so portable. Yeah. You know, if you've got your, your live scope set up on a pole and you've got, you know, your ice fish, for example, because I know this is really a good thing for ice fishermen, mm -hmm. comes to my mind, is 
you can tote it out there and throw it in the back of your snowmobile, or well, you, you can carry it. That's really where the idea came from, ice fishing. Yeah, I mean, it's so... That would work in a canoe. Yeah, a canoe. A kayak. Flat bottom boat. Kayak, kayak, yeah, anything, yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of guys, are, are, I know you use flat bottom boats, mm -hmm. but the portable aspect of it is just unbelievable. Well, you've seen the one I built that's 36 volts. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, so you, that'll run a trolling motor on a smaller boat. Run, run a big trolling motor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you got 60 amp hours on that, so... So, when you say 60 amp hours, how long is that in actual fishing time? Well, I guess it's kind of like your lead acid batteries. Right. You know, how do you tell how long it is unless I know your setup? I'll run them down. Yeah. <laughs> and what gotta, environment are you using it in at that point? Um, it, it, say that again? I mean, I think it goes back to, you know, if it's high winds. You know, if you're using right, a trolling right. motor or using a flat calm day. Or you know, like we long line. We just drop the yeah. trolling motor, turn it on, and bam. Roll with and then at 2 o'clock, we take it out the water. Mm -hmm. You know, it matters. It, just like lead acid, it matters how big your boat is. Right. It matters if the wind what speed. You know, like right. I've got a pontoon. Mm -hmm. And, you know, going against the wind, oh, my God, that takes a lot of amp hours. Well, uh, your, your bass boat. My bass boat. I can He's got put it this way. The most amp hours I've used in one day is 50. Okay. Um, and that's um, crankbait, right. windy, right. all day. Uh, one of my installs, um, Ray, he said he used four amp hours in one day. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah, that's slow trouble. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of difference. So if you go with 100, you're, you're covered, okay. no matter what you do. I can go back to the 100 because I've got a, a Ranger 620 heavy boat, fully loaded. I always fill up my tanks before I go fishing every morning. And at least three grown men in it and probably a cooler. Mm -hmm. I can pull jigs in wind, without wind, whatever, a complete day and have zero concerns about running out of battery. That's true. And you've had two days out of yours, yes, you know and of. I've used, <clears throat> I, I tested them one time and ran two full days in high winds mm -hmm. in my boat. And like I said, I'm running a Ranger 620 which, and a you know big motor on the back. It's a lot of boat. And I can fish two full days off lithium compared to where I was maybe getting eight hours. Maybe yeah. eight. Seven is yeah. probably more realistic in lead cell. I, I know cost wise, we'll kind of go back to yeah. that because everybody's thinking about how much money is it going to cost. Right. That's the sticker shock when everybody yep. first looks into them. Yep. And then you start doing your research and you find out, well, you know what? It's a better deal. Yep. You yeah. know, that's why I like, to, um, I like to go by what's called, uh, what do we call it? charge per cycle mm -hmm. so out of a lead acid battery you're going to get very few charges compared to a lithium so yeah. you you get your money back well Definitely. i was like i was going through a set of batteries and you know i'm fishing probably more than the average fisherman I would right. say at least um maybe two years maybe two and that's kind of pushing it yeah. i mean that's that's really time trying to dig down and get my money out of these things so i was maybe getting two years of hard fishing and i was well, Mike was saying you're going to get, how many more charges should I get out of a set of lithium compared to a just normal, everyday thing? I know normal circumstances. That. Well, they say you're going to get 2,000 charges out of your lithium before you get to 80%. Mm. And then at 80%, these are now 80 amp hour cells, mm -hmm. which are still more than you need right. for two days. So, and most fishermen, I mean, what do you think, fish twice a month? Yeah. You know, so. Maybe more in the spring, but I'm saying yeah. 12 months of the year, yeah. Calculate, I mean, 2,000 is, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, you know, these are going to, most cases are going to last you your lifetime. Mm -hmm. Never have to replace another one. What, what about the warranty? What, what, how do you it have depends it? on what company you go through, right. uh, but. Some of them have like a 10 Some year of them have a, I, yeah. I've seen a yeah. 10, 11 year warranty on some. Yeah, they do. Dakota has an yeah. 11 year warranty on theirs. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but in my opinion, it's kind of like computers. The technology changes so much. Right. After 10 years, mm -hmm. I mean, do you want your computer yes, warranty right. 10 years? No. You know, um, but they'll definitely last that. How can they make them so light? Is it lithium? The technology, just, it's the lithium, and, and it's, you know, it's it not, not, not lead. flooded it's cells. It's not lead. It is not lead. lead it's is not lead, right. right. And that's what makes them so much lighter, is that, that difference right there. Mm -hmm. You get a lot more power out of a smaller area. Mm. And it's lighter. So. Wow. 
and one great thing is no more messes. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not flooded, so there's no more corrosion, no more acid. Either. I don't have to worry about it exploding and all that. No, you shouldn't have to worry about that. We use, um, and all, all these that you see, all these companies you see will use LIFEPO, lithium iron phosphate. And one thing you do have to worry about exploding is lithium ion, mm -hmm. but not lithium iron phosphate. Okay. Um, if these do rupture, you'll have steam come off. Okay. So they're not dangerous, and a lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. That's that, that's been my biggest concern. What about care wise? I know a lot. We talked about the the lead cell, <clears throat> cell batteries. I know you used to you used to have to pop the caps off, make sure they were filled with distilled right. water. What 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 is the ways to care for lithium batteries? Nothing like that. Mostly, you just want to you know. It's not, it's not optimal to have them in the heat, mm -hmm. and it's not optimal to leave them fully charged over long periods of time. What about coldness? Coldness, you don't want to charge them below freezing. Okay. Um, you know, it could mess up the, the technology inside and the, mm -hmm. and the lithium cells. You can mess that up. Well, the good thing about even like this little briefcase style is that you can tote it inside. With you. That's true. Yep. And good thing here, we don't have to worry about much cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? it did freeze over Lake Washington this year, and I've seen before. Froze over. <laughs> so uh, you're just saying, take it inside when it's extremely cold and extremely hot. You can discharge them, you know, uh, above freezing. You can, I think they say to zero degrees, mm -hmm. but charging them, you really want it to be above freezing. What's some of the other advantages you say, you know? What would make somebody convert over from the standard batteries now to these lithiums? Uh, Y'all can help me with that. There's tons of reasons. Uh, weight, <laughs> weight, weight, uh, mess, the long life. The, uh, uh, I can get all day on a battery. I mean, I, I, I'm not used to that. Every problem yeah. you think of with I lead have acid, to start these fix. I have to start changing my fishing style around 12 every 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 time. Yep. Yep. So I can't go into the wind. I, I've, I've learned better than that. We, you know, through the years of tournament fishing and even guiding goes the same format as, you know, you've got to fight the elements. Yeah. And the elements. And if you guide, your clients don't want to hear my battery right, dead. I, I hate to tell you, we've got the battery issue today. <laughs> and that has happened because of batteries. Right. Um, but, you know, the, the deciding factor w with me was the longevity of them, mm -hmm. how fast they charge, right, and how long they actually last. So once they get charged, do I need to disconnect my charger, or you don't have to. Uh, your charger is going to be set to where it keeps them at a okay. at a voltage that's not going to hurt them. Right. Um, okay. Some people say they like to charge them up overnight and then unplug them the next day. Mm -hmm. I've even got on one of my boats. I've got a outdoor a selector that. You know, like you do your house lights, right. a six hour, eight hour, whatever. I can just push the button and walk away and never have to go check it. It turns it off. Um, and they're not like lead acid. They're not going to dissipate a lot of that energy just for storage. Okay, so they get up. You know how lead acid that. just keeps dropping. Yeah. These do maybe I think they say one to two percent per month. Okay. So they stay they stay full That's great. for a long time. How would somebody uh, get a hold of you, Mike? Uh, call me. Or, or bad side. What, what do you go for? I mean, <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever. I'll answer. Just you, you answer the phone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my cell phone is, of course, the easiest way to get a hold of me. Um, we're currently uh, putting together Facebook pages, websites, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm I'm kind of new when it comes to the business, getting into it. So, mm -hmm. um, but as you know, you know, I sell I sell for Dakota. I sell mm -hmm. a lot of other stuff. Garmin. Your Garmin dealer as well, right? Yep, Garmin dealer. Um, so you, somebody could come in and get their black box, you know, their power, their live scope, and their unit, and trailer motor, and... And you install, and everything. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, I do. I okay. mean, I, I help install. Okay, okay, I guess. Um, you know, I'm not a... I'm not a guru on installation. But, you know, usually with batteries, usually it's a swap out. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I pretty much sell everything. Denali rods. Denali rods. Yeah, I might even sell you my boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, I, I just want to get you on here real quick and show you about the Crappie Connection and uh, 
you know, this is something that all crappie fishermen are really looking at right now. So. Man, are they? And Absolutely. I can speak for Mike's reputation. He's the honest guy. And if he tell you something, mm -hmm. you can count on it, man. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah that, that, good buddy, that, that's a super that. nice thing. So, but I think it's I think it's something every crappie fisherman needs to at least look at. Yeah. Um, every switching. fisherman, not just crappie. Yeah, that's fisherman. true. Right. Uh, but you know, sometimes we pull crankbaits and we need a lot of power, mm -hmm. and lead acid just ain't gonna do it. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just not gonna do it. You know, you're gonna need. Well, unless you like a, 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 a friend of ours earlier, Hayden, they got they had a generator on the back of their boat. <laughs> <laughs> now, how dangerous can that be? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> More headache. <laughs> Way. Yeah, just think of more We're going to put him in some lithiums where he don't have to work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, right. uh, he will be changed over. <laughs> right. Yeah. Sooner than later. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, Michael. Appreciate it. Thank you. As always, Bernard, thanks but, for coming and helping us out today. No problem. Bernard Williams. Subscribe, subscribe, like, like. Hey, if you got a question about something in the crappie fishing, got any show ideas, give me a call, shoot us on Facebook, Messenger, anything you can think of, get a hold of us. Also, look out. We've got some new Crappie Connection shirts come out. Uh, they're, I'm telling you, they're the bomb. I can't wait to pick them up tomorrow, and I'll show you an image of them as well. But anyway, thanks, everybody. Bernard. Bernard Williams. Michael Sylvester. Brad Chapel. Till later. Holla. Holla. Out of my front, big muddy river, a place I'll always remember. Heaven on the lake and a fishing pole Forever here I'll rest my soul I can feel my worries drift away